What are you doing? Are you waiting for Papa? Are you going to help us work today? Today we're going to um, be cleaning up somewhere on the farm. Uh, we actually <coughs> <coughs> we sold the geese and uh, the pigs were picked up yesterday. And so it's just the chickens in the greenhouse, but um, with this mild weather, this has been the mildest winter on record in Europe. And we're just going to be piling up the deep bedding and manure from the pigs now and cleaning out the greenhouse and turning it into compost. So, doing some work. But things are starting to come closer to our move. Only a few cows left. Yeah, and they're going to stay here on the farm most likely. So how do you feel when, as this is getting closer, I'm super excited. Yeah, excited and it's, um, it's somehow um, a relief to have less obligations here where we are right now on the farm. Yeah, because we, are, we, we have a lot forward. of other things on our yeah. mind. We're packing. We have lots to do, but it's hard to do that when you have, yeah, I guess the amount of animals that we had and the... Um, time it required each day to take care of those and yeah it's just it's good just to nice. you know when you when you know something else is ahead um, and your mind is there constantly it's obviously harder to focus on what's right here but yeah but now we have something to work forward uh, work towards and look forward to um, learning about ponds making ponds is one big thing that we're excited about um, but I guess yeah, just a, in general, way more advanced um, take on stuff that we've already wanted to do, started doing to some extent, or looked into. A lot of older methods um, um, apply to a more modern farm, yeah. you know, like old techniques like um, root cellars and, um, con con you know, what, what do you call that, conservierung? Um, um, canning and stuff? Yeah, but, but not just... Preservation? Maybe? Yeah, preservation of food in different ways. Um, just gonna have good insights on the permaculture methods yeah. that they have been applying. And, you know, somebody said um, somewhere, I don't know where exactly, but, um, you know, I'm not really gonna be interested in that um, kind of farming and stuff. The thing is that they do what we are have been doing and have been trying to do just we will be learning it from one of the masters of permaculture and they're way 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 further down in the process yeah they and know so much more have implemented so much more and he actually yeah. on his farm he has the highland cattle breed um, they work with mobile chicken shelters moving them constantly the same with the pigs and but they have so many 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 more aspects to the whole operation mm -hmm. so it's actually a very very exciting um, thing for us yeah very exciting. Yeah, I've always dreamed of getting the chance to work and learn under one of the the leading people in this, and um, this is a really, really great opportunity yeah. that I, for a long time, we thought that wouldn't be possible yeah, for us to exactly. take such a step. We never thought we could. We we have talked about if it would ever be possible for us to um, be in the states for long enough to. Um, learn by working at polyface um, but it's just our life and everything that we have had going on it's just not not possible and this is something that it's just an incredible opportunity that we actually had never thought about this specific mm. like we never thought working there being there for us homesteading has worked fine but but we want to take it to to another level our heart from the beginning if you have followed our channel it has been to you know, at some point, and you read about that in our last book, The Self-Sufficient Homestead, you could also read about our desire to, to somehow have a bigger, more complete system where we also will produce more food for other people. And um, that that is really exciting for us, that that is what we can work towards now. And we felt like this was, this had not taken off enough and, and um, it was still at a place where we could say you know let's do that first let's learn and look into that and yeah. and be mentored and coached by one of the world's best gain that experience and then 
um, we take it to the next level. So that's very exciting for us. Mm. As we let the chickens out, they all went over here. Like they remember it. What'd you say? Huh? What'd you say? Licorice is okay. Licorice is okay? Yeah, he's my special friend now. He's your special friend? Yeah. Licorice, is that dark hen, I think. The kids call it licorice. No more pigs in here. It's quiet and seems really empty. That looks fun. this together it was about a foot deep of deep bedding, manure, wood shavings, straw, hay, wood chips and that's gonna compost here now for a few weeks and then we're gonna spread it out and gonna plant right in it. This is so rich now. You help me? Yeah. Okay, thank you. This is so rich in, in minerals and nutrients and in, in especially in, in life that it's gonna produce really healthy food and also um, gonna grow really, really well. Well guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us. We are getting ready for our move and obviously as a family of six, it's a lot to think about and plan, but we're very excited. Very excited to have spring come and to look forward to such a fun and amazing adventure and project for us. Hope to see you soon and stay tuned. If you follow us on Instagram or Facebook, you'll be able to get updates even when we don't post videos. Thanks and bye bye.